We're walking on a tightrope, Lord. We're struggling to keep our balance. We're afraid to look down in case we fall. And we're afraid to take our eyes off the rope in case we miss a step. Oh, Father, some days we feel that it's just not easy to be human. That this yoke is just too heavy to bear. Deadlines and commitments and demands from all directions. But we can always say, thank you, Father, for being our Father. Thank you for not deserting us or leaving us to waste away and end up in hell. For guiding us and giving us time to get our lives in order. For letting us find you if we take time to truly seek you. Because in you alone is peace and prosperity, love and joy and all things excellent. There's a song which says, Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of the earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. If we can take our eyes off the rope and trust in you to guide our steps, we can look ahead, far ahead, keeping our eyes fixed on the goal and know that it is not us who direct this course, but your love guiding us every step of the way. Oh Father, let us take this load and throw it up into the air. You will catch it. Let us trust your faithful arms to catch our load and know that we have nothing to fear. Father, let us learn to breathe freely again, to gaze upon the beauty of flowers and behold the magnificence of sunset, to behold the twinkling stars and the glittering dewdrops, the gentle heartbeat inside us driven by your desire for us to learn and to grow and to be. This tightrope is our blessing, Lord. The strain is really gain. We are growing into ever better versions of ourselves and our learning benefits not only ourselves, but your kingdom within. Father, these problems are not just ours. You are here with us. You help us bear them. Your word says that you will never subject us to hard testing above our ability to handle. Lord, let each one of us fully realize that life is not worth living if you are not the final goal. If you are not the destination, then in vain we travel this road at all. If you are not the purpose, every breath is lost and every achievement counts as futile glory. There can never be any other way because you created us for you. We were made for love, you above all, and each other like ourselves. Create in us a new heart, Lord, a heart of faith and love, a heart that accepts and knows that you are at the end of every dark passage we ever may pass through. You are glorious. You are exalted, Lord. You are from everlasting to everlasting. Praise you in the holy and almighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.